Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome back to a very very interesting video which I am making basically uh, for you students. Okay, students basically you are watching so many videos regarding a civil engineering uh, and there are so many mistakes which they did basically and uh, they record basically the, the site as well. But the, the, the retail which they mentioned, basically, uh, there are some mistakes as well. So for that purpose, I, I catch some videos, basically, and that videos, uh, basically, they make some kind of mistakes. So here in this, basically, in this video lectures, uh, I want to show you some those videos, okay, uh, which I downloaded from YouTube, and uh, I want to show you the those mistakes which they basically make. Uh, one thing very important to you students, it is very very important to us that whenever you are watching such videos, you have to understand things according to the to the technical knowledge. Okay, because uh, uh, there are so many YouTubers which they don't know about the basics of engineering. So I kindly request, I humbly request to all those who are recording such types of videos, they must basically learn the basics of the of the things which they are recording and which they are saying, okay? And then they, they publish it, okay? For example, here I am. Uh, I want to show you that when I I was recording this video and I was commenting right now on this video, I have often so many authentic books. Okay, you you counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and so many others books I will study for this video. Okay, and uh, uh, this is how I I I am trying to to. Uh, to, to listen to you that you must uh, learn things ac uh, appropriately and then you need to publish it okay so let us watch this video where they make a mistakes and I I, I point out uh, where they was wrong and where was they correct okay so let's watch the video This is Sami from Civil Engineers and today I'm going to talk about in this RCC slab but here are some common mistakes which has been done in this RCC slab but now they are not able to fix those mistakes which I'm telling you in this video. Let's start guys. This is RCC slab but we have already discussed that main bar and distribution bars dia should be changed from each other. The main dia and uh, the main bar dia should be more than its distribution bar. Here you can see here. Here they basically make a mistake. If you if you see this uh, slave system, it is a it, it looks like a two-way slave system. Clear? So if it is a two-way slave system, they they are telling they are telling us that the distribution bars and the main bars dia should be different. Uh, it is uh, not a fax rule, okay? In a two-way slave system, basically, although it is possible in a one-way slave system, but it's not necessary that the distribution bars and main bars dia should be different, okay? Because uh, in two-way slab system, you can't say basically uh, you uh, you can't say which one is a main bar and which one is a, a distribution bar as well. When the dimensions, both di the dimensions are equal, because in uh, two-way slab system your longer dimension and shorter dimension sometimes equals. In that case, you can't say this is a main bar and this is a distribution bar, okay? Another thing, when in a two-way slab system, when you have different slabs, uh, when you have different dimensions, okay? When you have different dimensions, like you see here, uh, uh, that this side is 25 feet and this side is 20 feet. So, you can say this is my uh, shorter direction, okay? And in this, in this direction, basically, I will provide the main bar 
at the bottom portion and in this direction I will provide my distribution bar in uh, longer direction but in two way slab system basically uh, uh, your topper bar and bottom bar both bars in both direction they are taking loads okay and uh, the uh, the diameter or you can say the size of the bar or you can say the die of the bar it's not necessary that the dimensions uh, the the die the die of the main bar and the distribution bar are okay if you if we if uh, if i visit you of uh, the aci code okay so what aci code is basically uh, here here is my aci code in slab reinforcement you you basically you you need to read this whole uh, classes of this aci code even british code even the european code which i which i uh, here I have and I studied there is not nothing any fixed rule that your distribution bar and main bar diameter should be changed now this it it's wholly solely depends upon the the amount of moment one one main important thing which I want to share you that at class 13.3.1 uh, it says that area area of the, reinforcement in each direction for two way slab systems shall be determined from movements at critical sections okay now you have you 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 basically in uh, uh, design in rc design if we find out the movements okay uh, and if i if i show you basically i have uh, some videos as well basically i have i have some pictures as well basically in my cracker book okay so in my cracker book you see here that these are the slab movements clear and here you see we have different movements this is 55 this is 50 and this is 50 55 okay here you see we have uh, 80.6 80 so you see the difference in movements clear so although this difference is very small okay 55 and 50 and 55 once we are going to design basically this lab system we design only for 55 and we implement uh, we, we find out the size of the bar okay let's say I say that uh, four number bar at the rate of 12 inches or you can say nine in center to center so as my 12 number bar at the rate of nine in center to center cover this moment it obviously cover this moment as well and it obviously covered this moment as well although sometimes designers change the bar size for this moment because this is this is five kip you can say lower than this one although you can change the size of the bar for this moment but it is a conservative approach and uh, that you provide the same bar over for this moment as well because uh, if you change the bar sizes for this moment and this moment then the detailing of such kind of slab system is difficult as well as at site uh, to, uh, to provide such uh, variations in, uh, in dia dia bar basically is also very different and difficult for us similarly here you can see 106 and 36 this is negative bar although there is a diff great difference so you can change the bar size for this reinforcement and this re for this moment and for this moment as well but it is not a fixed rule as here in mention basically in SA code if you if you look this code and read this code here it says you need to find out the movement at critical sections and then find out the amount of steel reinforcement but shall not be less than required by this this section this section is basically related with a minimum steel reinforcement okay this is very interesting okay and one thing I which I want to show you in this in this slide basically you see that we, we determine movement a B C D okay here I want to show you here look movement is basically you can see this the variation in movements 5.37 K per feet per feet okay this is movement in this uh, shorter direction and 3.57 basically the movement which is distributed along the longer direction so this is the main bar which is which we will provide basically at the bottom now 
The distribution bar movement is 3.57 while the shutter direction movement is basically 5.37. So there is a great difference. You can change the steel size okay for these two movements okay so the the point which they are basically telling that the that the diameter or size of the main bar and distribution bar is different so here they are okay we agree with them but it is not necessary that you must change them the the diameter of the main bar and distribution bar okay if for example if i design for this 5.37 okay 5.37 um, movement and the steel which I find out for this movement is lesser than the minimum reinforcement then I can't provide the reinforcement which is uh, calculated for this 5.37 movement I have to provide the steel for the minimum reinforcement because in in no case my reinforcement should not be less than this movement uh, for minimum reinforcement so the minimum reinforcement is basically uh, if they calculate the minimum reinforcement let me show you where is the minimum reinforcement amount so uh, Now this is this is student. This is minimum reinforcement. Okay, number four at the rate of fourteen point two in center to center. This is the minimum reinforcement amount. Now, if we calculate, basically you see, minimum reinforcement can take. If we provide this minimum reinforcement, it can take a movement of three point five seven five two roundabout. Now, this is interesting. Clear? This is very interesting. You can say three point five seven is covered by your minimum reinforcement 3.38 is covered by your minimum reinforcement and 2.8 2.22 so for the this amount of movement which you see everywhere you have to provide that minimum reinforcement you can see these circles so for these circle movements you have to provide your minimum reinforcement clear and other important detail you can see 1.19 1.19 okay those are the discontinued edges here you can also see the discontinued so for this 1.5 1.19 1 point for these movement as well you have to provide that minimum reinforcement as well number four at the rate of four in center so you so you see that how the bar size equals okay for longer direction for shorter direction as well this is for shorter direction okay this is for shorter direction this is for longer direction uh, but for uh, the main uh, main uh, movement you can say 5.37 and these movements you have to calculate the reinforcement so what I want to uh, say that basically this is not a facts rule that bottom uh, main bar then bottom uh, distribution bar diameter should be changed okay uh, you see a bars where you provide a bars in that is number four at the rate of 12 in center to center so there you can see number a bars this is along the long, uh, uh, along the long, uh, shorter direction basically uh, in shorter direction along the longer uh, longer side of the bar this is you can see uh, this is in shorter direction but along the longer side okay uh, you see a bars so all the size of the bar is equal okay so this whole depends upon upon basically um, your movement okay uh, so uh, if you are for example if your movements uh, are smaller okay you you calculate the bar and your movement uh, movements are smaller and at the which uh, and and you design for that movements uh, your reinforcement but the re amount of reinforcement is comes out to be less than the minimum reinforcement then you can't provide 
that reinforcement you have to provide minimum reinforcement okay if you uh, if you calculate that uh, a is t or you can say e d f t in shorter direction and it comes out to be smaller than the minimum reinforcement you have to provide uh, the minimum reinforcement in shorter direction as well and if you calculate the steel amount in longer direction and it comes out to be smaller than the uh, minimum reinforcement you have to provide the minimum reinforcement so in both shorter direction and longer direction then you uh, you you are providing minimum reinforcement in that case you are the dimensions uh, are the are the size of the bar okay they will be same so uh, it's not a fixed rule that your dimensions will be now uh, your bar size should be uh, should be different okay uh, let me show you in another this is the one way slab okay and you see uh the variation in bar size okay so because this is a one way slab in one way slab the dominant movement basically coming towards the shorter direction shorter direction so in that case basically your upper diameter and uh the up the bar for the distribution bar and the lower bar size will different okay almost in one way slab system basically the bottom bar diameter should change from distribution bar but it is not a fixed rule okay for example if we calculate uh, basically the distribution bar uh, size is equal to the minimum reinforcement we provide minimum reinforcement in for distribution bar okay now uh, if for example if we if we calculate the area of steel for this shorter direction in a one way slab system okay and it comes out to be lesser than the minimum reinforcement then we we are bound to provide the minimum reinforcement in shorter direction as well so in that case basically our shorter uh, the the area of steel basically which uh, area of steel is equals to the area of steel in longer direction so the size of the bar in that case will be same uh, similarly if i want to show you more more this is basically the mosley book okay and here you we have basically uh, i think so this is uh, mc cormick book okay so here you see uh, basically you see the bent up bars this is also in a slab system okay number 4 number 4 you see main bars basically although this is uh, for a slab system uh, i think so this is, uh, yes this is a for a slab system so you see number 4 number 4 number 4 so this type of variations basically what i mean that uh, it not necessary that you must change the bar size clap uh, so this this is a, you can say a, not a mistake okay we can't say that this is a big mistake okay uh, it is possible that um, your uh, your bar size will be different okay so basically this is uh, you can see this is a two way slab system in my view basically although okay so this is you can say this is uh, if this is a shorter direction so basically this is you can say this is man bar and if this is a longer direction in two way slab system